What's up, YouTube? Adrian and Carl from Team BDG. I uh, just want to say thank you to Alex, aka Inch95, for letting us post on his uh, channel. So we're going to be doing the deck of the month for August, and this is going to be Carl's deck. Alright guys, so I am profiling um, September 2012 ban list. I'm playing Heroes, but I'm playing Tour Guide, so it's Tour Guide Heroes. Um, this deck is actually pretty good. It um, utilizes uh, Tour Guide pretty well since I'm using Miracle Fusion and things like that. So yeah, let's get on with the deck. So one Stratos, you know, searches out everything. Thank God it's not banned. Triple Alias, he's your main beater to the deck. He's a light target for your um, Chaos engine. And he works with uh, Gemini Spark and uh, Honest. Multic, also um, great with... Uh, <coughs> Uh, also great with Miracle Fusion, usually um, I would have this in my hand, you know, if, you, if it does damage, especially summon uh, Elemental Hero that's removed from play, so it just helps. Double Veiler, I don't know Max C, I think Veiler helps me more, um, just for the fact that it uh, helps me, it prevents uh, cards from, prevent, prevents things from going off, so yeah, Double Veiler. Um, Honest, I have, what? Six light targets, so honest is pretty good in this deck. <clears throat> there's a lot. I do. There's like a lot of combos I do with honest and uh, alias. And then I run um, double tour guide. Because you can only run two. Because you can only run two now. If I if you could run three, I'd run three. But to substitute the third the third third tour guide, I run the tour bus. Usually I go tour guide and the tour bus, and once they get rid of the monster, I I, I would activate a tour uh, tour bus's effect to target a tour guide and add it back to my deck. Wait, so, wait you only run one. Oh, yeah. Oh shit, I thought you were at two. <clears throat> then I ran uh, Sangan, standard. And the one card that came off the ban list, oh well, not, one of, one of the cards that came off the ban list, Tsukiyomi. Um, I mean, it's been gone for a while, so a lot of people don't know what it does. Basically, it's a spirit monster, spellcaster, dark type, and it's level four. It basically is a mandatory book of moon, so the minute you summon it, you have to book a moon monster. So if this is the only monster in the field, you would have to book itself. That's kind of sad, but. It's an amazing card, it gets over a lot of things. And it's and um <clears throat> I just use it to get rid of monsters. Buying these, PM us if you're selling. Yeah, if you guys these. have any, uh we'll buy them off you or something. One dollar. Mm. Along with the Sukiyomi, I have the Grand Mole. Basically the same function as Sukiyomi, it helps me get rid of things. Um this card's amazing against Exceeds and Synchros, of course. Um Sukiyomi's mainly for like Cards that have uh, effects on the field, so like Thunder King Ryo and Doom Count, things like that. And he uh, forces out the Logia and he forces out the um, Dolka too. Because this is it wrecks your shit. It's an amazing card, you know, wrecks force, your ass. force warning and all that stuff. deck general. Chaos Sorcerer, um, I do have a BLS, but it's coming in from the mail, so I'm waiting for that. Shout out to Austin Coleman. Shout out to Austin Coleman for that. Um, Chaos Sorcerer, he is an amazing, you know, That's it's not. your. It's an amazing card. I mean, th there's a reason why they did put it back to one. They put it back to one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I have enough light targets. You know, I have dark targets, so... Once I get that BLS, it'll be amazing, too. <laughs> and then my last monster is Gors, so because prevents OTKs. You guys know that. Um, I don't, don't run much back row. So. You don't play Gors, it's like you're driving a car without insurance. Yeah, basically. <laughs> and then for spells, Triple Mirror Confusion. Um, I can go into almost any monster, any uh, fusion I want. Absolute zero, uh, I have an extra deck for that. Scared does out now too. And I scared does out now too, so my dark targets are not dead in the graveyard. Um, Gemini Spark for the alias. <clears throat> I it's thought already. two was enough, but three was actually works pretty good in this deck. I grab the alias pretty fast, and I usually duality, play double duality. I do duality into um, whatever I need when I need it most. Yeah, with the Gemini Sparks too, since uh, double mirror forces out and double torrential, you're gonna need a lot of chainable traps. Yeah. Or not traps, but chainable, chainable cards. Chainable cards. Two MST, I feel like three is too much. I Two mean, is too little. I do have the Gemini Sparks, and I also have the Stratos for its effect to destroy things, so I think two MST is enough for me. And anti-meta doesn't have to worry about back row, because your stuff's gonna get removed from play, so it's fine. You could bring it back with Levier, you could bring it back with uh, uh good stuff. Excuse yeah. me. Sorry, that was our idiot friend. I'm not an idiot. idiot <laughs> teammate Michael behind the camera. Yeah. What's up, guys? Anyways, um, double super poly. <clears throat> I think three is way too much because, you know, you still have to discard a card for the cost. But um, super poly <clears throat> at two. I would have played it at one, but since the dark hero came out, this thing can pretty much hit any monster you want. So double super poly is, like, essential in the deck. Essential. And then I have my searchers. I have the Rhoda since I can't run three e-call. Go to searches for any of my heroes. 
So as you call. The only thing this thing doesn't search for is the Voltic. Because it's, it's Thunder, apparently. Then we got Staples. And, you know, Standard. No Book of Moon. No Book of Moon. Uh, I run 40 cards. Uh, I have Tsukiyomi for that now, so Book of Moon isn't... Oh, I, I can use it, but... I don't think no I space. Need it. Yeah, no space right now. Oh, Solemn cool. Judgment, along with the uh, Double Warning. You know, Solemn Brigade. Hero Blast uh, helps me get my alias back to my hand, and I can just do more crazy plays with this thing. And there's a lot of small monsters out right now, so pretty much nothing could get over 1900 when you're using Hero Blast. Yeah, basically. And last two traps, Double Torrential. Just because um, my cards are still live in the graveyard. Like I said, I have Miracle Fusion for that. Yeah, they're essentially floaters, so every card's live. Every Miracle Fusion you draw is live. Yeah, most of the time. So, yeah, that's my main deck. Now for my extra deck. I run one Leviathan, one Levier, one Zen Mains. Um, I only have... I can only essentially go into a tour guide, like, two times, or I can go into double 3 skis two times, so... Whatever I need the most, but Levier is basically um, what I usually use if I go Miracle Fusion, because I can go Levier, Miracle Fusion, and then like Levy's effect, bring back shadows, you know, pop something or add a card to my hand. There's cr pl crazy combos. This is for defense, this is for offense, if you guys should know that. And then Blade Armor Ninja <clears throat> helps me push for damage. I am uh, getting a Excalibur from my friend, I'm just waiting on, waiting on that, so right now I have Blade Armor. Uh, Utopia, you know, helps defend. And uh, Utopia Ray, I might drop this for the Excalibur, but it's there just for now, you know, if I can monster board my Utopia, then overlay for this thing, be good. Triple Shining, uh, this card, like... You need him. You need it, it's amazing. Um, he helps recycle your heroes, he helps do whatever you want. Um, double Scared Owl, um, most of the cards this meta are light and dark, so I think only two Scared Owls would be <clears throat> worth it. Shit, every meta is light and dark. Yeah, yeah. so two secured out. And then the other Omni Heroes, you'll need one Nova Master, one Great Tornado, one Zero, and one Gaia. Uh, he doesn't have an or side deck right now because it's just the beginning of the format, so we don't know what's going to be up. Carl, that's not work safe, man. So I'm pretty sure if we were to build a side deck, it would be something around, like, I guess Atlanteans? Apparently that, that shit's supposed to be broke or whatever. Yeah, I probably side in uh, second zero for um, Atlanteans or something. Or the third Super Poly. Well, and the third Super Poly. Yes. Teledad's coming back. No, Teledad is not coming back. <laughs> so yeah, so, yeah uh, thanks again, Alex. I owe you some freaking garlic twists. Uh, I hope that big Carl didn't kill you. <laughs> and I uh, hope you're having fun in Vegas, man. And yeah, Hi. Team BDG. Sad we got Michael behind the camera. Ah, okay, all right, later.